This coming fall, join Heritage Place in Oklahoma City for their annual quarter horse yearling sale. The industry's largest sale event is scheduled to begin at 10 a.m. on Thursday, September 15th. So mark your calendar and make your plans now to be in Oklahoma City. This three-day offering will consist of nearly 1,000 head of the finest quarter horse yearlings presented at auction anywhere this year in the country. We invite you to join us, Heritage Place, where champions are sold. Time now for Ruidoso Downs Midsummer Two-Year-Old Classic, the $700,000 Rainbow Futurity. The big question here is whether or not Mighty B. Valiant could validate his Oklahoma form or whether another juvenile will jump up and grab that pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. It's a talented group, and as you can see, the future is so bright for them, you got to wear shades. Here's what happened in the race as called by Robert Fox. They're running. Breaking a little slow is Texas Rockstar. He's behind the eight ball. Fast break for the long knife and Bove and inside feature Mr. Bojangles. Then down at the rail is Mighty B Valiant and Big Daddy Cartel's trying to come on far side. Jess Cuervo is wide open with feature Mr. Bojangles. Feature Mr. Bojangles in front. Feature Mr. Bojangles wins the rainbow futurity from the long knife. Far side was Jess Cuervo at the rail. Mighty B Valiant and then Big Daddy Cartel also in that photo. Feature Mr. Bojangles takes the rainbow futurity by a half length under Jackie Martin. The Colt by feature Mr. Jess out of Catch This First was purchased for just $16,000 at the Ruidoso Yearling Sale by the SM Cattle Export Company and Jaime Dominguez. He was bred by Joyce Erickson and was one of four qualified by jockey G.R. Carter, who was instrumental in the decision to try the rainbow. We took him over to uh, um, Sunray Park in, in, in Farmington. He won the Four Corners Fraternity. We had him paid up for uh, Arapaho Park for Rocky Mountain Fraternity. And uh, once, uh, you know, he won that, that fraternity, uh, G.R. Carter told us, no, this is the horse for the rainbows. Feature Mr. Bojangles did not stable at the track, but rather made the 125-mile trip from co-owner and trainer Roberto Sanchez's farm before both the trials and the finals. We know he trained pretty good at Roberto's place and Alex's place, and you know it's 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 his home, and we know he would feel pretty good. So, so we just decided to train him at home, and and good thing he did pretty good. Pretty good indeed, earning three hundred fifty thousand dollars for the victory. He returned twenty dollars even, and combined with the long knife for a healthy exacta of one hundred forty-six dollars twenty cents. The running time on a track upgraded to fast just before the race was nineteen point six zero eight. And we'll be right back with the full order and winning jockey Jackie Martin right after this. JEH Stallion Station has a remarkable sire selection standing a stud that will add speed to any program. JEH is well known for producing winners of numerous major stakes races time and again with the likes of Trace Sace, A Political Jess, and New Mexico bred Brook Stone Bay in the genetic offering. Why not explore your options with us? Endless possibilities with winning results. J.E.H. Stallion Station. For the second year in a row, Jackie Martin in the winner's circle for the Rainbow Futurity. It's great when a plan comes together, isn't it? Yeah, it was, Tom. Uh, you know, I had my decision between uh, featuring Mr. Bojangles and Jess Cuervo, and I galloped both of them one day last week, and, and I thought this horse might have been a little sharper, or, you know, sounder, and the way it turned out, it, it worked out good today. Take me through the race. He, he kind of crowded the front of the gates a little bit and, and got up in the front too close. And, and when they kicked him, I mean, the four horse had me beat a length the first 50, 75 yards. And, but this horse really picked it up. I mean, he, he was real sharp once he got going. And halfway through the race, I was pretty confident that I was going to be able to run him down. But I, I, that's the only horse I could see on the outside. I didn't know if there was something in front of him, you know, uh, Jess Cuervo or somebody on the outside in front of him. But... Oh, 100 yards from the wire, when I, I got by him, you know, I seen I was in front, and the coat just kept widening the last 100 yards. This was Martin's sixth Rainbow Futurity victory. He has ridden at least one Rainbow winner in each of the last four decades. Mighty B. Valiant was a strong 4-5 to five favorite on the rail. He scrambled the first jump, but was in the chase before weakening late. Both the winner and runner-up, the long knife, drifted outward during the race. An inquiry was held, but no changes were made to the top finishers, as feature Mr. Bojangles wins it by a half length. And here's the full order, with feature Mr. Bojangles taking $350,000. 
The long knife completed a good weekend for trainer Sleepy Gilbert with 112,000. The favorite Mighty B. Valiant finished fifth. He's Our Secret was scratched from the race following a bout of colic and received last place money. So the two-year-old scene here in Ruidoso continues to be unpredictable as yet another long shot captures a triple crown race. Next up, the All-American with trials four weeks from now. Travel accommodations provided by La Quinta in Ruidoso, the horseman's home away from home.